please, like, if I can't pronounce it, I'm just going to put it on the screen. So I think I'm going to use, yeah, this one. There's a lot that I don't know how to pronounce. I'm just going to be honest. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, which is all about beauty. Now today I'm gonna to be showing you a really easy, soft pink eye makeup tutorial. And it's such a stunning look. It's really subtle and it will suit anyone. So I hope you enjoy the video. But before we head into the tutorial, if you like this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. You can also catch me on Instagram where you could watch my stories for some daily beauty news, some PR unboxing, some reviews, and just generally some stuff about me. So let's head straight into the video. So I have everything on other than my eye makeup. I'm gonna use the new MAC eyeshadow palette, which is in collaboration with Rosalia. I'm quite surprised because in this palette usually, well, in most palettes you will always find at least one dark color and there doesn't seem to be one in this, but it's like pretty neutral. So I quite like the colors in this palette. Even the, sh the, the kind of glitter shades are, are quite neutral neutral tones. So I'm gonna start with the first shade and I'm gonna use the shade, let me see what this is. Please, like if I can't pronounce it, I'm just gonna put it on the screen. So I think I'm gonna use, yeah, this one. There's a lot that I don't know how to pronounce. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm gonna go in with my Zoeva Lux Crease 228 and I'm gonna go straight into this shade and it's a really nice pink. So it probably will show up more on skin tones that are much lighter than me, but you know, I still wanted to show you how this can look. So I'm basically applying this all over my lid, but I'm kind of going into the socket line as well a little bit and it's a really soft, eye look so it's not overly pink because personally I don't like too much pink but if it's a nice kind of almost like a neutral pink I love those colors I feel like they're a lot more wearable you know if you want to wear it during the day so all I'm doing is I'm kind of like giving my eyelid a wash of color I'm kind of dabbing it onto the main lid area and then I'm kind of moving it side to side to kind of spread that color. So my main aim is to keep it on the lid, but also go into the socket and then drag it upwards and outwards a little bit. I don't want to go into that kind of arch area there. The reason I use this brush is because it's quite a, it's not a dense brush. So it's perfect if I just want a wash of color over the lid. And you can already see how, so you can already see the difference. I can anyway, so hopefully you can as well. Can we just talk about something for a sec? Because I can see it in the camera and it is so annoying. I think it's going down now, but I don't know if you've noticed that I have this kind of bump here. I got bitten, I don't know by what, this morning and it was really itching all of a sudden and then it kind of became a little bit raised and now it's just like I have a really pointy cheekbone. So that's what's going on there in case you noticed. I'm just gonna do the same on the other eye. Now I'm gonna use this other shade, which is a little bit more kind of, it seems like more of a brighter pink. And I'm using my Fenty 230 brush. And this is where I'm gonna actually apply this kind of in the center, just to add a bit more kind of color there. And I'm patting it on, because I don't really wanna take this into the crease area. I just want to kind of brighten up that area. So now you can see we've got that wash of color all over and we've got very subtle brightness on the lid area. And because these are really kind of light neutral shades, you don't have to worry so much about trying to make sure the edges are nicely blended because they're just so easy to work with. And that's why I wanted to like, that's why I said, that's why the video is titled is an easy soft pink look because it really is easy and you can make it easy by using specific shades. So that's why we're using kind of very nice soft pinks because they're much easier to blend. It's just easy for you. Now I'm using my MAC 119 brush. I'm gonna go into this much darker shade. It was not much darker. It's like, it's like a mulberry color. And now what I'm gonna do is just apply this just here. And although I'm kind of like almost creating that very slight kind of liner look, it's not so defined. It's much softer. It is honestly insane. 
how easy this look is. So as you can see, I'm pressing it on because obviously that's where we're gonna get, we're gonna get most of that pigment. And then I'm very lightly, my pressure is very light, but also my movements are very, very small. So I'm not going like full on, I'm keeping it quite small. Hopefully you can see there's a very slight kind of darkness around here, which actually shapes the eye a little bit more. I always have my hair tied back because I'm just trying not to kind of like having to, I'm trying not to have to straighten it so much. So it's much easier when I wash it and then I put some kind of Olaplex in there and then just tie it back. I just have been giving it a bit of a break lately. That's why in all my videos, my hair's tied back most of the time. Even now I didn't straighten it because I don't want to keep using straighteners because my hair is naturally kind of frizzy. So I thought I'd let it dry naturally and then I kind of just, with the straight, even though I did still use straighteners, with the straighteners I just kind of like, just gave big chunks of my hair a bit of a kind of quick, not really a curl, it's kind of like a kink. Plus I cycle most mornings. So then it kind of like ruins my hair because I put the helmet on and then it's just like, oh for God's sake, now I don't have straight hair anymore. Can you see this really nice kind of lift and that soft pink coming through? This is a really nice look. I'm gonna take this into just my lower lash line, but I'm pressing it. And it's a very small amount, not too much. Now I'm using my Huda Beauty Life Liner. I'm taking the eyeliner super, super close, like, oh my God. Now we're gonna have to wait for that to dry, great. I'm taking it super close to my lash line. Just to the end of the lash line, I don't want it coming out anywhere. That happens, guys. It even happens to makeup artists, not so much when I'm working on other people, more so when I'm working on myself. So I don't wanna hide that from you. So all I'm doing is using a spoolie and just scraping over the area that I messed up with the eyeliner. And it's kind of like very slowly, very lightly scraping it off. Okay, I've scraped off as much as I can. The problem is this is the type of eyeliner that stays put which is great for when you want it to stay put, but if you make a mistake with it, then it's kind of like annoying. So that's what I do. I scrape a little bit, I scrape as much of it as I can off. Then I go in with whatever kind of eye color that is on there, which is the pink. And I'm gonna just press this on. And then, so that's lightened it. I'm gonna go over with the darker shade that I used and apply that. Just a little bit of mascara. I'm using the Fenty Full Frontal Mascara. And only a little bit because we're gonna put my lashes on. I'm using my own lashes, but I'm using the lashes Eva today. Usually we use Nina all the time, but Nina's actually sold out. So I'm using Eva because when we've sold out, it means even I don't have extra stock for myself. So I'm just putting the glue on. We're gonna just let that glue dry a little bit because it's much easier applying the lashes once the glue is kind of semi-dry. Oh my God, you can really see that point there, can't you? Just from the side, it's really annoying. I don't understand what happened. Yeah, I, li I was literally at my desk yesterday and all of a sudden it just started itching, so I started scratching it. And then I thought, I looked in the mirror and it was kind of raised. You know when you get almost like a hive? I think that's what it's called, where it's like irritation and then now it's just turned into a lump, great. Going with the lashes, I'm just gonna apply this. I'm trying to go as close as I can to the mirror. Just close to the lash line. I always start from the outer corner and then stick in the inner corner. Do the same on the other side. While that's drying, I'm just gonna apply my mascara to my lower lashes. I'm using the same mascara. Do you know there used to be a time that I actually never wore mascara on my lower lashes. I hated it. I think I just didn't like that whole spidery look. Now I love it. Now I feel like I've missed something if I don't put my lower lash line mascara on. But I don't, you know, I don't like, I still don't like it kind of spidery. If it becomes a little bit clumpy, I kind of like, while it's still wet, just kind of like slide my fingers over it just to get rid of that clumpiness. 
Honestly, that is literally the eyes done. It's so easy and it's just such a nice soft pink look. You know, you don't have to go full on pink. And this is the kind of pink look that I would love. This is the kind of pink look this is as much pink as I would probably wear on my eyes. So if you, that, if that's you, then this is perfect for you. I just wanna finish off with a couple of lip products because I feel like it kind of completes the look. I've only got a little bit of lip liner on at the moment. So I'm gonna use, it's actually the, from the same collection. It is, I will put it up on the screen because I definitely cannot pronounce that one. It's from the MAC and Rosalia collection. That is such a nice color. I'm just gonna, with my Charlotte Tilbury lip brush, blend this in. You really don't need a lot of lipstick, as in like a little goes a long way with most lipsticks. So as you can see, I applied it on my lower lip and then I kind of just press them together. And now I'm spreading it out. That's a really nice color. I'm gonna go over with this because there's a liquid lipstick with it, which is a little bit lighter. Just gonna apply a little bit in the center, just to kind of give it more more of a, just more lightness in the center. So this is, like I said, as much pink that I would wear on my face in as a whole. I wouldn't apply any kind of blush with this because I feel like it's still gonna be way too much. So this subtle pink on the eyes I think is enough. It's really flattering. It is pink, but it's not overly pink, if you see what I mean. And we've got a really nice kind of subtle, almost like a, how I don't know how to explain what kind of pink this lip color is, but it's it's a really kind of toned down pink. It's got a, it's got a slight kind of tinge of mulberry in there. And I really like it. It's a nice color. I feel like it's wearable. I feel like you can still wear this during the day. Well, I mean, I'm about to head out now, so this is enough for me. Like I said, if you have lighter skin tone than me, then the pink is gonna show up. But even if you do have darker skin tone than me, then it's still gonna show up. It's just, I'm in that middle section where it kind of, kind of is probably not as obvious on my skin tone as it would be on other skin tones. So, but it's, you can still see it, I feel anyway, but it's a nice kind of wash of pink there. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. So I hope you've enjoyed this really easy soft pink eye makeup tutorial and as I've mentioned it will suit more or less anyone and as you've probably already seen it's pretty easy to create too. So you can actually find all the products that I used in my description box below so all you need to do is click on the links. Just a quick note that if I don't manage to find the exact same products I always list an alternative, the best alternative that I could find for you. So as always, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.